Okay, New York Stilo here with part four of Phosphates, Problems, and Solutions. And this is the final part of the video because in this video I am going to show you the sand bed and the fact that I've won the battle against phosphates. You can actually see the sand bed here. The brown diatoms is receding. It's really disappearing. The sand bed is looking really, really healthy. Um, whatever phosphates actually bound to the sand bed were um, um, eaten up by the, the, the diatoms and whatever silicate was in the system is completely removed. Because there is absolutely no phosphate reading in the tank, the corals are actually appearing more healthier. You can see here the uh, orange, red, Montipora capricornis. It's completely re um, recovered. You can see the white edges around it, which is an indication of, of growth. Um, all of the corals are really, really doing well. I mean, you can actually see, just take a look at this snail here. This is how much the phosphates in the system have been, you know, the, it's, it's, it's starved the algae so much that you can see that this snail actually doesn't even have any algae left. So, you can see here the um, cold corals really opening up nice, starting to look like a little tree. Both of my hammers are doing really, really well. The frog span. You can see here the toadstool. You can see here the other piece of the orange Montipora capricornis. It's got nothing but white rim around it, which is an indication, of course, that the coral is growing. I can tell you that because the phosphates have lowered to near undetectable level in the tank, I can tell you that um, calcification is occurring at a more rapid rate. So the corals are growing more, having high phosphates. As much as uh, 0.1 in your tank can actually prevent your corals from consuming the calcium. So I've because calcification is occurring at a much faster rate, I actually have to add calcium and alkalinity on a daily basis now. Um, I believe the tank is ready for, for, for more SPSs. I will be adding more SPSs this week and we'll be making an update with a video about that. So what have we learned from phosphates problems and solution? We've learned that in order for you to battle and win the battle against phosphates, the right way to do it is to discover the source of what the algae is living on and feeding on. In this case, it was phosphates. A um, couple of snails were dying and decaying in my tank. Also, my reverse osmosis unit um, the reverse osmosis membrane had been had had been uh, in my system for like two years. So I, when I disassembled the unit and took out the membrane, I noticed that it just looked really nasty in there. I tested the water that was coming out the membrane. I was getting 0.25, so that was a major contributor to the phosphate problem I had in my system because I would use that water as tap, um, top off water and it, it was constantly introducing phosphates into the system. So what else have we learned? We've learned that um, to battle the phosphates, get yourself a phosphate reactor as you see up here. I've bought two of them. I've got the first one here with the media tumbling on it. You can see it there. This is the raw false media, and I've bought a second unit in the back up here, and I've actually gone ahead and added some Chemipure Elite. You can see it there tumbling as well. 
I've plumbed both units to the back of the display and you can see here I've replaced the clear plastic tape and added some some duct tape some black duct tape so the Fosman reactor is releasing um, water through the top of the aquarium on one side and the carbon is being released into the top of the aquarium from the other side and that is it ladies and gentlemen I'm extremely happy with the results as you can see the tank looks really healthy so stay tuned for the next video which will be very very soon I'm gonna be doing it on pH problems and solutions I'm also gonna be doing a video on nitrates problems and solutions and also based on some requests that I've received on private messages I'm gonna be doing one on calcium and alkalinity how it works so stay tuned for my next videos I hope you guys have learned something from this process here and stay tuned New York Stilo signing out until next time peace